What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Sunday to you guys. Today, I'm going to be... I had to put something on my lips. My lips were chappity chap. All right, back to it. Today, I'm going to be making just a simple pasta dish. Um, I have been really, really good with cooking in the van. And I have been good with cooking when I was at all of those campgrounds throughout the three month stay that I was away from Pennsylvania. And I'm hoping to continue that. And now that I'm only eating once a day, um, it should be fairly easy for me to just go ahead and either come in the van and cook something as I've been doing since I got back from PA. Actually, this is my third meal that I have actually cooked inside. Is it my third or second? My second or third meal that I have cooked inside of the van since I got back from uh, Florida and down south. So again, it's going to be a nice simple meal, nothing fancy today. I'm going to be fixing um, a pasta dish. Um, my initial plan was to fix uh, a spaghetti dish, but when I was at the grocery store getting all of the ingredients, I saw this from Barilla, the penne pasta that is fully cooked and it's one serving. Now I will say that I have been doing pretty good with the eating once a day. Um, this is my fifth day here that I have eaten just once a day. Um, I am getting hungrier a little earlier it seems like each day so I'm trying to uh, well there's nothing to figure out I'm just, you know you get hungry you get hungry and um, I bought some apples I bought um, two apples and I, I plan on stopping at the grocery store today and getting maybe some almond butter or something that I can eat with the apples. What's good to eat with apples, like a like an almond butter or something like that, if I didn't want to get almond butter? But I think almond butter is a good choice so I can um, slice up some apples and just something really light. And I, I really wanted it to be a fruit. Uh, when I got hungry when I came out of the gym, let me turn this on. When I got hungry, when I came out of the gym, um, by the way, I have been going to the gym since I got back to PA. Uh, I've been three times thus far, but I seem to feel hungry when I come out of the gym. Uh, one day I came out of the gym and I was hungry. I stopped at the grocery store and got one tomato and I sliced it up in two slices and I put a little salt and pepper and I drank a half a bottle of water. And that held me over until it was time for me to eat my one meal later on today because I got out the gym around 11 o'clock in the morning and that was just way too early for me to even think about eating my one big meal a day. So I'm trying to keep up with it. I'm trying to, you know, you know, trying to just do it and everything. But again, I had this ground beef in here when I was down south. So it is time for me to use this ground beef. I had it on the frozen side of my uh, refrigerator. So this side over here is a little, not frozen completely, but it's, it's harder than this side here. So I have my little convection I keep saying convection and I'm looking right at the word saying induction. <laughs> I have my conduction and uh, did I say conduction? Lord have mercy, Anthony. Induction. Oh, I hope this pot is big enough. I might have to crack a window. Let me tell y'all, it's cold. Where's my um, other 
Oh, there it is. It's cold here. Shoot, <laughs> I could have stayed my behind down, down Florida a little longer. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna open up those two windows. So give me a minute, you guys. Oh shoot, I didn't, I didn't even open them. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I ain't even open them. <laughs> All right, let me get down to business here. I can actually have some leftovers now because I do have my microwave in here now. I put my microwave and my um, storage ottoman back in here when I got back from PA. Let's talk about these ingredients. I like, like, like these Rotel Fire Roasted Diced Tomatoes. I always put some diced tomatoes in my spaghetti. And you know this is spaghetti, not spaghetti. I always put some diced tomatoes in there because I don't like no dry pasta. I don't like dry spaghetti. Uh, any, no, I don't like that. So this helps to keep it loose. Because you know with spaghetti, if you don't put enough enough juice in it, once you refrigerate it, it, it dries out. You know, so you want to put some of this in there, diced tomatoes, to help keep it loose. And I went with some Prego. And once again, the Barilla already fully cooked penne pasta. Now I'm going to season this ground beef up. Oh, and I also have some uh, Parmesan cheese put on top. Now I'm going to season this ground beef up with some uh, garlic powder and onion powder from Badaya. And this is something that came in my bag. This was sent to me. And this is uh, Balls Cajun Seasoning, all-purpose Cajun seasoning. It's they use in the place of salt and pepper. Y'all know I'm a little hurt because I'm, I'm not putting my pepper in here. But we're going to see what this is about. I haven't even used any of this yet. But let's get down to it. Get some seasonings in here. When you fix spaghetti and stuff, this is the only opportunity you have to season the ground beef. Ooh, that smells good coming out of there. I put a heaping amount up in there. And I'm gonna shut this back down until I, okay, let me lower this down. Cause you know, at the beginning I keep it on five just to get the uh, pot heated. And let me open up this. I know y'all like, Anthony, don't be using that knife. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it says, push down on it. <laughs> I don't have a strength. I'm gonna use some scissors instead. All right, there we go. All right, I ain't gonna be like that, uh, that, uh, that Tony, what is it, Tony Shakers or something. And I put all that up in there. And that bad boy was hot as a dickens.
Now, the last time I cooked a meal here, I think it was the day before yesterday, I fixed that Xanaran. I fixed that Xanaran rice that um, Ella and Eddie sent me. And I had some, I bought some andouille sausages and cut up in it and everything. And let me tell y'all, that stuff was so hot. I don't mean like hot, like just came off out of the pot. I mean like spicy hot. My forehead was sweating. Oh my God, I was going through it, but it was good. And I enjoyed it, but it, whoo, it took me back. It took me back to when I, I used to always eat all that and all up in here. Oh, it was, it was something. I'm gonna give this ground beef a taste. Once it get the thing about ground beef, boy, it does produce a lot of liquid, so that's gonna help the the flavor up all the other ingredients that I put in here, the pasta and everything. So that's a good thing. Sometimes you gotta take shortcuts. You know what? I gotta re rethink the time frame that I come back from down south, uh, south. I probably, mm, I don't know. My nephew texted me and said, Uncle Anthony, I just now looked at your video about you um, talking about going back to work. <laughs> and then my other friend, I have another friend, a really good friend of mine who watches uh, the channel as well. And she, she and I was talking and she said, this was after the video was posted. And she said, why on earth would you want to go back to work? <laughs> Cause she was kind of talking about how her job situation is. And she said, why on earth would you want to volunteer and go back to work if you don't have to? She said, man, it's so much out here that you can be doing. There's no way you should get bored. You should get restless. She said, you are in such a unique position you know, you could be doing anything, you know. And then I got a really, really good comment at the time that I posted that video in that video from Cassie. And I did respond to her video, uh, her comment. And Cassie said in a nutshell, Anthony, six months is a long time from here because I was thinking about going back to work in September. Six months is a long time from here. You may feel different in six months. She said, reflect back to that video that she made uh, titled, I'm Restless. Whenever you get bored or you get tired or restless, Anthony, that's when you think that you need to make a change. And I mean, her comment was just so, it was a good comment. I really liked her comment. And she's like, you know, she mentioned also that, you know, she knows that I'm a planner. I like to plan things out. And she said, you know, sometimes you just don't need a plan and you should just get up and go. And she said, you know, and, and just stay places. Sometimes I think that I don't, sometimes I think that I'm not taking full advantage of the position that I am in. Let me taste this. Yeah. Okay. It's tasty, but I want it to be tastier. wanted to be tastier. Okay. Let's turn this down some more. Because this is done. 
and now I want to get some things in there. So I don't know. I'm definitely rethinking it. Y'all know how I am. I get, if I feel a certain way, I tend to post a video based on how I'm feeling at the time. But like my best friend, like one of my good friends said, <laughs> man, you ready to go back and deal with all those people again and job politics again and this, that, and the other again? And I don't know. I think I have an idea because I did. I did uh, tell Michael that I was going to do the California road trip in September now. So we don't know. Okay, these are a little, a little stuck together. So I wanna get that, got a lot of them unstuck. Break a few of these apart. I got a feeling I'm gonna need a little more uh, seasoning because when you start adding things in, it sort of take, Lord, I think that's enough right there. I'll set that up there. <clears throat> Let's get this in here. I definitely am not gonna need all of this. Get that in there. Already it looks like a lot. Already. But it also looks so delicious. So good. I might put a little bit more pasta in there. Oh, it looks so delicious. It really does. As long as I get that seasoning together. I'm gonna have some of this for tomorrow. So this is definitely gonna be a, and thankfully I'm starting to get food out of my refrigerator and I can put a leftover container in there. All right, that's gonna do it. See, this is how I like my spaghetti. Let me show you guys. Uh. See that? I like it nice and loose. And I think, <clears throat> I think because this pasta is already done, it's not going to puff up that much and start absorbing up all of the, the juices. So, yeah. I didn't drain anything. I put, <clears throat> excuse me, all the juices from the diced tomatoes. I left all the juices in there from the ground beef. So, this should be really, really good. And that's what we're looking like so far really nice all right let me bring y'all back up here because you know we don't be doing no fancy editing here <laughs> we do not be doing no fancy editing here 
So I'm gonna let this um, simmer. I'm actually gonna leave it on high at 4.5. 5.0 is the highest setting on this uh, induction cooktop. So I'm gonna leave it on 4.5 until everything comes to a boil. And then I'll, oh, excuse me, I'll turn it down and let it simmer for about 10, 15 minutes. Make sure that the pasta is nice and soft and all the flavors have time to marry. And this is gonna be so good. I'm gonna put my Parmesan cheese on top. Ooh, it's gonna, uh, 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 uh. Break it down, break it down, break it down. Uh, 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 uh. What, 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 what? Uh. You know how sometimes you just do things and you don't know why you did it? That was one of those moments. <laughs> that was just one of those moments that I don't know why I did that. Got my little plate. I got to get me a bigger plate. I'm going to the Dollar Tree store. Oops, my bad. Dollar 25 cent tree store. I got to get a bigger plate because this, <laughs> this plate, the thing about this plate is it's so easy to clean. I usually just take a napkin, wipe it down, Use my little uh, vinegar and water mixture, and voila, it's all done. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and let that come up to a boil, and then I'm gonna let it simmer for about uh, 15 minutes, and then I'll be back. Look at that. Something that's either on fire or it's like a, a barbecue place. You know how they have them smoke barbecue houses and smoke be coming out, but that smoke is dark. Look at that. My goodness. All right, guys, it is ready. Ready? Are you ready? I decided I was going to use a bowl instead of the little plate. Nice and loose, the way I love it. So we're going to put some in here. A little bit more. There we have it. We're going to put some Parmesan cheese on there. Oh, this is new. Okay, I thought I had this already. Uh oh, let's go this side. All right, put that in my little <coughs> non-perishable bin. Let me put the top back on there. Put you there. I'm actually gonna move you over here out of the way completely. And I have me a Gatorade. This is my last one. And now that I'm in back in PA, I'm definitely going to pick up some of those uh ale sodas, some of those Bruce Ale so uh ginger ales. Definitely gonna pick me up some of them. <clears throat> Alrighty. <clears throat> All right, let's give this a hit, uh, try here. There you go. This is another bowl that is so easy to clean that I can practically just wipe it out with the napkin and then go over behind it with the little spray solution. All right, let's 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 give it a uh, try here. Mm. It smells delicious.
Mm. <clears throat> My glasses are, are fogging up. Speaking of glasses, I'm going to get me some new glasses because I told you guys I have scratches on both lenses and it, it just makes my vision look crazy sometimes. It feels like my glasses are always dirty. This is absolutely delicious. Wowza, wowza, wowza. This is really good. See how everything is in, in reach, in reach. <clears throat> this is some kind of good. I tell you, the key to a, a pasta dish like this is, and when you're using ground beef, is definitely the seasoning of the ground beef. And this bad boy is seasoned to perfection, if I might say. This one, mm. I might could have used, <clears throat> oh, that, that, that seasoning is kicking in. I might could have used uh, a little more pasta in it because looking at the dish, it does look like I have the ratio to pasta to ground beef. The ground beef outweighs it, but that's not a bad thing though. This is really good. Oh my goodness. You've outdone yourself today, Anthony, with this simple dish. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> All right, before I let you guys go today, I want to remind you guys that there is going to be a PA meetup on April the 16th at 4 p.m. at um, the ramen noodle place. I will try and remember to put the address in this video as well as the upcoming videos leading up to the meetup so it can be a reminder of you guys to you guys who are in the area and would like to come out and just have a have a good time, you know? But for now, that is going to do it for today's video. I'm gonna finish up this simple, delicious pasta meal. I really liked using the already fully cooked penne pasta. It just made this meal a lot easier to come together. And it's, it's, it's really good. All right, my guys. All right, my FOA squad. I want to thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.